There have been a wave of margin calls across markets in the midst of the current sell-off, perhaps most notably in the world of crypto. When yeah. did the margin calls start? And the impact of its massive margin call. Hedge funds like Three Arrows failing to beat margin calls. I'm gonna stop right there. I know a lot of you are probably wondering what margin calls are and what they have to do with crypto or any other market crash. Let me explain. I'm gonna tell you what margin calls are and how they relate to market downturns, explain why we tend to only hear about them when markets are tanking, and explain why they can turn market downturns into market crashes. Some professional investors who buy crypto, stocks, and even things like bonds and currencies like to add a little extra to their returns. So they borrow money and invest it, with the hope that the returns they get on the investment bring in more money than the cost of the loan, rather than putting up their house or business as collateral. The thing a bank or brokerage can take if the loan isn't paid back, they use the stocks, bonds, or crypto in their investment accounts to get what's known as a margin loan. Margin loans offer investors the opportunity to put borrowed money to work, but they come with a catch. If the value of their investment portfolios fall too far, they have to provide some cold hard cash, or collateral of equivalent value, to the party that made the loan in what's known as a margin call. When times are good, we rarely hear about margin calls. That's because as long as the value of investment portfolios stays high, lenders can generally assume that borrowers are making money from their loan and will be able to pay it back in time, with interest. But investors have to provide an accounting of what they're holding. And when lenders see that their holdings have fallen to a certain level, they send out margin calls. That's why you tend to hear a lot about them when markets are going down. If the borrower can't meet the margin call, the loan gets liquidated. That can mean big problems, because the borrower has to pay back all that borrowed money right as his or her holdings have lost a lot of value. This often compounds a market downturn, because investors don't typically keep enough cash around to pay for margin calls, so they have to sell other things they own to come up with the money. They don't typically want to sell the things that have done poorly, because they're now worth a lot less than the investor paid for them, so they sell the assets that have held up. This is often large company stocks, or index funds that track the S&P 500, or in the case of crypto investors, popular and highly valued tokens like Bitcoin and Ethereum. That brings down the value of those assets, and if the selling continues, it can turn a sell-off in one sector of the market into a widespread market crash, like the one we're seeing right now in stock and bond markets. In crypto, many companies are using smart contracts, which automatically liquidate portfolios when margin thresholds are reached. That's a new twist, and has likely exaggerated the crash we're seeing in cryptocurrencies. Billions of dollars in crypto has been liquidated in recent weeks to meet margin calls, according to data provider Coinglass. And there could be much more to come. Trading with margin loans is a bit like selling on consignment, and the late great notorious B.I.G. told us in 1997 that consignment was a strong word, strictly for live men, not for freshmen. If you ain't got the clientele, say hell no, cause they gon' want their money, rain, sleet, hail, snow. That's all for now, see you next time.